Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cryptic TNG back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about why I think you should make that move from console to PC in 2024 and why it's imperative to do it right now. So let's get stuck into this video. So originally I moved from console to PC in like 2018 and I was pretty much just playing Project Cars exclusively on the console. It was probably me, CJ, uh, Carl and Prenter and we were pretty much at the front of the field all the time with a couple other people's but you know it, it was always comfortable. We always knew we were going to be at the front. I could afford to pick cars that I knew weren't the fastest because I just I knew I was able to be fast enough to be within the top four and battling for wins or whatever. And um, I used to pick like the Renault RSO1 GT3, which was not the fastest car, but it was decent. Now, when I originally moved to uh, PC, I tried the same thing in a practice race in AOR. And believe me, I got lapped. I was like, what has just gone on? What is going on? Now, I tell this story all the time in my stream because I feel like the difference in pace between pc on console maybe the fastest guys on console they could come over to pc and they wouldn't be too bad but just the general level of the field is insane the fastest pc guys are on a complete different stratosphere to the fastest guys that i've ever raced on console you know and it's crazy because like you don't realize the difference and sometimes it's not just you know how fast someone is it's their abilities outside of the car and their knowledge and just knowing how how to set cars up and just you know just different techniques that you need to know in certain sim racing titles where you just didn't even think about when you're on console even down to like the wind direction stuff that you just used to go straight over your head but on pc everything's in such detail the amount of knowledge that i've able to build just by racing with certain people talking to certain people you know you get to rub shoulders with a lot of the esports guys especially if you're fast enough to be in split one or tier one or aor or lfm anything like that you're literally always up against some sort of esports driver in your field and you know you get to watch them firsthand you get to learn certain things and if you're really serious about racing, if you're someone who races maybe five, six hours a day or whatever, anything like that, or five, six days a week, you're always on the sim. For me, trust me, make that move to PC. You will not regret it. I know a lot of people don't want to leave their friends behind. You may have a lot of friends on console. You sit in a chat party with and all that good stuff. But once you get on PC, you start involving yourself in the, the communities, which there is plenty of communities. All you got to do is sign up for a league and literally you'll be with hundreds of people that are like-minded you know and you learn so much man for me i learned so much when i left console from when i went to pc in terms of like how to set the cars up how people are going fast not just the fact that they're fast drivers but how they're achieving these times which is probably even harder to understand because anyone could put a good lap together but sometimes i was seeing times that were like so fast i'm, I'm like i'm confused bro like I'm confused how they can be so fast but once you start learning integral parts of the, the you know the different sim titles then you start to you know improve your own performance all the people that i knew that came from console to now the improvement that they have made in in pace is insane and it's not just me saying that you can literally go watch anyone that you know that used to be on console and who's now on pc and their pace progression is crazy because there's so much more competition it forces you to have to grind you have to sort of practice and put the time in otherwise you just get smoked but it, it makes you want to put the time in in when i was on console the, there was just not that much competition to even warrant even putting all that amount of time in you know and i don't know man i feel like in 2024 sim racing is beginning to take off we've seen all these big competitions like for instance like ren sport where they're now fighting in saudi arabia in Riyadh for 500,000. those sort of prize pools were only sort of reserved for like the call of duties and you know those type of games and now sim racing seems to be taking that next step um you're seeing more sponsors involved you're seeing more interest in it and the the it's got like a closer link to real racing now and um I just feel like with all the titles coming, we've got, at the moment, we've got Le Mans Ultimate that's on PC currently. We've got R Factor 2, we've got iRacing, ACC, we're going to have um, AC Evo, which is going to be crazy. We've got um, Automobilista, Race Room's having a new update, so so much things are happening 
just this year alone, you know, and it's just, it's definitely just a place to be, man. Like for instance, AC Evo is going to be insane. I remember playing the original Assetto Corsa on PS4 and I loved the game. I thought the game felt amazing. When I played Assetto Corsa on the PC, it was a whole different ball game, a whole different ball game. The amount of mods that you could have, the different cars you could drive. It was just like, yo, this is just, a, it's a completely different game. A completely different game and um it just you know as i said if you're serious you know say you're a young guy and you want to make that next step or you all f you feel like you've got the ability to compete trust me you need to be on pc because that's where people are gonna you know they're gonna recognize your talent and that's where you're gonna be able to improve the most that's where you're gonna find the the best competition and you know as a driver you need competition to push yourself further and Trust me, um, it is definitely something that you need. If you're someone who's just casual, you play maybe two or three hours per week, then by all means, for me, you know, being on console was cool. But if you, you're really grinding and you really believe that this is a passion that you want to take further, then I would say make the investment. Now, not all PCs are crazy money. Now, I say a grand like a grand's not expensive. It is. But, you know, it's going to last you a long time, especially if you take care of it. And, you know, you, you're just never going to turn back. I, even in the beginning, I always thought that uh, I'd probably end up going in between my PlayStation and my PC. Bro, listen, after three weeks, my PlayStation just became a charger for my phone. Literally. Like, I don't do anything on my PlayStation apart from watch Netflix and stuff like that. And it just, you know, racing is just, it's just on a complete different level now if you're someone who plays gt7 or forza i understand that they have massive communities and that's a completely different thing because if you're dedicated to those games by all means you can still you know enjoy yourself on those titles but if you're on like acc or ac you still play those sorts of games get yourself on pc mate trust me it's a different world man it's a different world get yourself on pc there's loads of opportunities for up-and-coming drivers man just look at Look at the story of Dan McCormack, who's an esports driver for Williams Esports. Only a few years ago, this guy was on a control pad on an Xbox. And within maybe four or five years, he's catapulted to literally one of the fastest sim racers in the world. You know, he signed to Williams Esports. He was on ACC. He got a will. He was rapid on ACC, became pretty much the benchmark on ACC. Now he's jumped to Rensport and he's competing with the fastest guys in the world like Josh Rogers and Kevin Siggy, James Baldwin, all these well-known sim racers. And he's, you know, he's mixing it. He's winning races and, you know, fighting for 500K. Now, when could you say before prize money for sim racing would be 500K? life-changing money for some people especially if you're at a young age we've got guys on acc that are 12 years old on pc and they are rapid now just imagine those guys in five six seven years time you know they're going to be right at the pinnacle and as i said the landscape is changing for for sim racing now it's beginning to be seen more serious i, I think with you know with max verstappen being an f1 but being an avid sim racer a hardcore sim racer I feel like a lot of people are starting to open their eyes more. If you go on iRacing, there's literally tons of ex-drivers and current drivers that are on the sim. Even if you come on ACC, you go on any sim racing title, you're going to find either ex-drivers, real racers, big streamers, esports drivers, and it's not that hard to be in the same race as them if you're fast enough, you know. If you're fast enough to be in the top split or tier one of AOR or LFM, you're going to be racing esports drivers you're going to be racing big streamers you're going to be able to see what it's like to mix it with the very best in the business and i feel like on console those things are just not accessible to you you know and it never really became accessible to me until i joined pc and i started mixing it and found out okay so this is why this person's so quick now i can actually be in the lobby of them and see how they're driving what they're doing in the braking zones and stuff like that and you know it just helps performance man for sure it definitely helps performance then you've got stuff like motec telemetry there's tons of different telemetry um apps there's different third-party apps that you can use that's going to help you learn a great deal there's guys who do great content great videos <laughs> like myself but seriously there's guys like nils now who does great content 
you know, tries to show you guys how to make that change and how to improve. And there's loads of guys doing coaching and loads of people selling setups. There's different setup shops, all these different things that are just, you know, just a whirlwind right now of just information and just, you know, these these are the things that you need if you want to improve. These are the things that are going to help you get more embedded into the sim racing fabric. I thought I was embedded in sim racing when I was on console, but really, I was just a guy. I just knew how to drive fast, and that was it. I didn't really think too much, too deeply into it. And then I came to PC. I realized these are thinking about the wind changes, the wind direction, and you know what I mean? Like, everything's got to be spot on. I wasn't really focused on tire pressures that much. I just... I do a little bit and that was a bit that was it but you know these guys bro they're on it and it makes you be on it and once that starts happening naturally progression happens and then naturally you improve yourself as a driver man and it's just crazy man for me personally i would say if you have the means you know get yourself on pc as i said it's not something you have to splurge out and spend a grand straight away you can you know, you can get a PC on finance, pay sort of like £28 a month for a few years. And, you know, before, especially if you've got steady income, before you know it, the PC's paid off. And then, you know, you, it's all it's all good. You know, even if you're someone who's working, you've got a steady job, you know, you've got the means to do so, in my opinion, definitely make the move, man. Even if you're like a parent and you can see your, your kid's got a passion and they're good, Make that investment for them because you never know how that can pay off, man. You never know. If, you're, if you've got a kid and especially they have exceptional talent, because you can see as a parent, man, I know a lot of this stuff just seems like gaming to people or whatever, just a bit of fun or stuff, but this can be a career for some people, especially if you catch it early. So for me, you know, take it as serious as you want to. If you're serious about sim racing, then get serious and get yourself on PC, man. That's that's the advice I would give you, man. Um, trust me, it's definitely worth it. You will not regret it. You will not regret the difference in in racing once you reach PC. The difference in having a grid full up of 40 people, having a whole field covered by maybe 1.2 seconds. On console, that's hardly ever the case. You might get two or three, maybe four people that are really fast, and then you'll get the rest of the field that's maybe a second and a half, two seconds off. On PC, bro, once you sign up to leagues, yo, believe me, if you're if you're one second off, you're probably going to be in between 37th to 44th place, mate. That's how close it is. It's, it's definitely a massive step up, man. And um, yeah. But anyway, guys, also, I did drop a brand new setup pack for the Mustang. I dropped it on set base as well. I'll also put it in my... Um, in my patreon shop as well so jump on that i think i did it for 8.99 it's about 22 tracks 22 setups it's all the setups i use for aor and lfm over the past 22 uh, 22 races i've done so i've got that as well but guys tell me in the comment sections what you guys think are you ready to commit are you ready to make that move now in 2024 because i'm telling you in 2025 things are going to get spicy sim racing's on the up so definitely definitely make that move man but anyway it's cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace